Hello and welcome to Clady Canopy, the show where I attempt to make just about everything from the ground up. And welcome to week 16, part 2 of the Don't Wake the Dragon series. Back to Diana of the Past. Alright y'all, it is Tuesday morning. I have a very small chunk of time. I didn't realize, I, for I forgot that my students finished glazing and it's firing week because next week is finals. So I actually didn't need to go in this morning because there's not gonna be anybody there. Um, I do need to go in in the afternoon to still teach my high school class, but since I have a bit of time out here, I thought I would get out here and snip these and get the layer of glass on the inside of this so that way it'll be ready to go when it comes to attaching over there since I have the time. So. All right, I'm gonna get suited up and get ready for the pouring of the, 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 you know what I'm saying. Damn, come on. Well, that's problematic. What the hell temperature is it? Shit, 52, 52. Is it frozen? Huh. Hey buddy, fly roaming around out there, cannot control the strays, he still does not let us get near him, but he doesn't stay close, just kind of off in the distance. Ugh. All right, that will knock me ahead of the game for tomorrow. So I'm going to leave this and hopefully uh, tomorrow I can trim it up and get it attached to the next piece. Hey y'all, it is a blistery Wednesday morning. I gotta clean up this thing. I'm debating between putting the black fabric on it now or attaching it to at least this piece first, then putting the black fabric on. It probably would be easier to do the black first, but then that means I, I basically have nothing to do today until this sets. I mean, the other thing I was thinking, since I have like these ringlets, I could technically drill and zip tie each of the ringlets and have them ready to go while that one's curing. It's super cold and I, and this stuff was like ridiculously hard because of the cold. I might actually move both of these inside for a little bit to warm up or put them out and maybe even in the sun. This way they'll be a little easier to pump out when I do the pumping. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick. I'm gonna throw these out in the sun and then I think I'm gonna get the black fabric and try and put a coat, a layer of the black fabric on this piece before I attach it to this. All right, I'm just gonna trim this up a bit. Still a bit tacky. I'm gonna be a little a bit careless the way that I apply layers into the nose and the head because technically you're not gonna see them. I'm using this as an opportunity to sort of practice and see if I can get away with not having to keep sanding things in between each layer. So I did not sand this. I'm gonna go right into the application of the black fabric and see how I feel about the finish. 
I might even go as far as applying what will become the exterior, the skin pattern, just to get a feel for what the heck's gonna happen in a situation like this where I have the layered curves and that might be the way to go to do on this one little piece since this is gonna be at the nose of the dragon and you're never gonna see it. So why not uh, test it out, right? I'm really hoping that I will be satisfied with the finish enough that my major sanding days will be over. So I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes I'm a little bit, a little bit too much of a perfectionist for my own good with certain things. I realize that inside this piece is where I'm supposed to have that patterned fabric, but at a certain point, deep down in the nose, you're not actually gonna be able to see up through there. I am not going to fully mask up because this is fabric now. I'm not dealing with sanding any fiberglass. This fabric is fine and the resin is also okay to breathe in because I'm in a ventilated area. I feel comfortable not putting on a respirator because of my conditions here. Yeah. Really need to buy myself a new pair of fabric scissors. Looks like I should do this in sections because I am going to have some funky foldovers, I think. Mm. Option one is to cut it. Option two is to just kind of let the creases happen, fold it over itself. I think I'm going to just let the creases fold over itself and see what that looks like. If this was the outside, there would be resin going on to the next round that may cover over these wrinkles. So I'm just going to roll with it that way. This is still a bit tacky, which is why I have gloves on, but it's also helping me out because it's kind of placing this fabric. I think I can probably get away with painting on epoxy without having to put a layer under. It is tacky enough, just like me. Mm. I have switched off of coffee and I'm now on tea. Why the heck do you care? Because I've decided that this dragon needs to have two things. I'm gonna do a tea service set and then I also want to build a custom tea box. So those will be two projects that will get added to the interior of Evangeline. I think having tea service would be a nice thing to have inside this dragon. It will also give me the opportunity to show off my slab mug making skills as that is a type of video I've not done here yet. And it'll also give me a video to give to my students for slab mug making. Multiple birds. I don't like that phrase. Killing two birds with one stone. That's like a really awful saying. I don't know why people say it. I shouldn't say that. I'm going to get multiple uses out of that one video, right? Here we go. Oh, come on, it's still so stiff. This definitely needs to come in for the night. And I thought about it yesterday and totally blanked and she did not bring it in, should have. I suspect the tackiness is because of the cold. This is just what I'm dealing with, with it not curing 100% because it's been in the 40s and 50s-ish. You know what, and this fabric has a bit of a funky texture to it that I'm not mad at. It actually helps disguise the unevenness, the drippiness I think that I was getting with the resin on the surface when it was just the wood. I, this is like some of the best news. I need to see how it fully cures. I don't want to like get too excited. But if this does what I think it's going to do, yeah, I'm going to be saved a lot of agony. Oh. I think this is gonna be all right. Rub and alcohol has become my bestie on this build. It is the cleanup cure for all things epoxy resin. I'm gonna trim these down a bit. I like the idea of assembling these rounds. The great thing about the head, when it went together, it was symmetrical. All I had to do was create each one of these little ringlet sections that all stacked onto itself. Assembling each one of the ringlets will make this go faster when it comes to the resin. You always tell when I'm tired. Those are the days where I keep going, um, um, if you hear a lot of ums, but it, sometimes I try to edit out my ums because I don't know, I'm a little, a little self-conscious about the numerous ums that I say. But on days where I'm just like, there's a lot of ums, it's, it's tiredness, it's tired. I could use a vacation, a real vacation. 
one where I get to like do nothing but rest. Oh, but then I probably would be sitting there on vacation antsy about the things I want to do or should be doing. And it always ends up being thoughts of the, like longing for the studio. So, cause it's me. Just, I think I'm gonna be like perpetually tired for the rest of my life. I wonder like how people like Martha Stewart, like does that woman is like on a plane and in another country at least two or three times a month. She's in her 80s. Doesn't that woman get tired? Like, she just go, go, go. I don't know. Maybe that's gonna be me. I hope that's me. Hope that's me, my old age. I wanna be 80 years old and still go, go, going. Something is missing. The drone. Ah. You know what else is missing? Audiobook. I'm gonna be back. All right, this is super, super sexy, and I don't know if you can even see that on camera, but in person, this is just so delicious. Um, all right, I need to practice what this is gonna be like doing just the small bits that kind of get pressed up against itself. I need to get better scissors. This is not gonna work this way. Oi, I don't know where the hell the other pair fabric scissors are. I had two pairs. Pairs, oh, oh, I found it. Yay, these are equally bad. <laughs> yep, so it goes here. I think I've decided to just let go of the idea of trying to match them up. Like, I'm just gonna let the seams be what the seams are. All right, y'all, it is Friday morning and this is nice and hardened. I'm just gonna trim this up a bit and then I'm gonna have to get out there and hit the backside with the grinder, get it all sand down. Well, I should say it's really the outside, right? Um, I'm so excited and happy with the way that this finish turned out and I don't need to worry about any of the overlappings. I'm like ready to go with applying this technique to even the body I was thinking. I can at least get up through to the mica part of it but rain is due tomorrow and Sunday so I'm not going to be able to deal with doing anything with the body because I don't want it to have issues curing. This is a total mess. I had a lot of leakage. I did not run the full tape along the seam lines. Leak out is one thing, but I lost a lot of the resin in doing that. So a lot of the resin ended up splur, splewing, whatever, spewing all over the place. comfortable maneuvering this around too much if I flip it under itself it's just gonna stick because the um, blah, blah, the epoxy is not cured yet so I'm gonna let this whole section set up before I flip it over and get to the other side I'm gonna call it here please like share and subscribe if you have not done so already stick around to watch this project all unfold and remember don't wake the dragon